The human bubble is under attack by a massive armada of Thargoid vessels across multiple fronts covering hundreds of light years. If you're currently stuck like a rabbit in headlights trying to take on board the enormity of what is currently unfolding in the Elite Dangerous Live game and wondering what you can do to get involved then here is all the information you need. It's worth stressing again here that options are not just limited to AX combat. Like any war, supply lines and evacuation are just as important and there are now mission based options for pilots focused in those areas that are equally as vital in the war effort. As always if you enjoy our stuff hit the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and ping that little bell to see all our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon which directly supports the work we do here at the pit. Links to that and everything else are below. This is without a shadow of a doubt one of the biggest events ever to land in Elite Dangerous history. Everyone can get involved, here's how. As of this video 3 Stargoids have now arrived in the bubble with each deploying a huge caustic maelstrom around them. The devastation that immediately follows the deployment of the Thargoid war machine is unlike anything we've seen in Elite before. There are multiple surface starports and orbital outposts and stations on fire, abandoned or under attack. Stations that are under attack will have conflict zones around them. We are monitoring the anti xeno initiative who are coordinating the now massive effort to push back the invasion. Whilst traditional anti xeno combat is naturally available with missions at the starports under attack as I've mentioned it is no longer the independent commanders only option. The same starports are offering missions to source and supply emergency supplies and also requesting passenger evacuation and medevac operations to visit the newly deployed medical frigate megaships that have recently been deployed across the bubble. All of these missions are a valid option to help the war effort. There's an extensive list of systems needing help but the top 3 systems needing help in order of priority as published by the AXI are as follows. 1. HIP 23716 2. Imyut and 3. Matshiru The full list of systems is in the description below this video. Pilots are requested to focus all their efforts where possible in those top 3 systems for maximum impact whether they be AX pilots, haulers or rescue ships. Thargoid vessels are now interdicting pilots in supercruise not just hyperdicting pilots. We have some limited evidence to suggest that use of heat sinks in supercruise can help prevent interdictions by Thargoids. The Canon Research Discord is reporting that the Orthrus interceptor has been sighted in systems that have a status of Thargoid alert. The Orthrus is not a combat vessel but it is doing something as yet unknown. It's imperative that the community understand the purpose of this ship and its intentions. Pilots willing to observe its operations will need a cold running vessel to stay hidden. The current systems of particular interest are Awara and Ibisu. If you discover one report your findings. We're doing our utmost here to keep the flow of information going as the situation changes but it is changing rapidly. 5 more Stargoids are still incoming and yet to arrive. Stay tuned to this channel and to all our feeds which you'll find linked below to stay current. You'll find a number of other useful information sources and links below this video including Discord servers for the Anti Xeno Initiative and the Post Disaster Evacuation Service who are themselves coordinating evacuations. As I've mentioned it's a very fast evolving situation. Stay tuned to us here and as always we'll do everything we can to keep everyone informed as quickly as we're able. There's some interesting days ahead of us for sure. 07 CMDRs stand fast this is only the beginning. Are you helping in the war effort and if so what have you been doing? Has your home system been hit by the attack? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.